Okay. Uh, well, first of all, you know, uh, Vanderbilt and Coach Drew, I thought they came in and uh, they played their tails off. They had a great first half, and um, defensively we couldn't do anything with them. I thought the second half it was a we were a lot better, and uh, we had had a nice little rhythm in the game with our defense. I think they made two buckets uh, to start the second half, and I thought our defense was really engaged. And those were like on stick backs or offensive rebound. Uh, uh, but I've been around in this business long enough to, to know when you come off of an emotional win, which is what we did, uh, as a coach, you worry about that next game in terms of how your team's going to come out. And I thought we came out, we, we didn't have that energy that we've been playing with on defense. We didn't. And, it, and then it transferred the same way on offense. Uh, we went a while without scoring. And, uh, and then, of course, Isaiah, uh, once the tempo picked up, I thought he was able to get a nice rhythm. Uh, Dan got to the free throw line. They they packed it in there on him, <clears throat> so he was able to get to the free throw line. And we got some of their guys in foul trouble. Uh, I thought that was that was big in in the first half. Uh, the, the Lee kid, uh, was a really good player. Uh, then I thought coming out in the second half, I thought our energy was a lot better. It was a lot lot better. And in in SEC games, they they gonna uh, everybody's good. They got a talented team, and the three point line always keeps you in game. They got an end one, then I think they made a couple of threes, and before you know it, a 10-point lead kind of evaporates. And so now it's back and forth, and the team that makes plays is going to have a chance to win. I thought we did some uh, – had some big plays defensively. Gabe steals a big steal for us. Uh, and then I thought the, the shot to Keyshawn uh, was big. And I thought these guys, again, I thought they took another step in terms of, uh, of, of really uh, becoming the team we want to be. Uh, they didn't panic. They, they had their poise, and uh, again, so it was a it was a good win for us. And appreciate our fans; they were they were fantastic. They stayed in there uh, till the game was over. And uh, and just think about you know Keyshawn, a freshman. Uh, he turned it down earlier that same shot, and then he nails the biggest one. And and of course, free throws was the difference in this game tonight. You think about the free throw line and our defense, especially in the second half. Uh, that was that was huge in this game here. Yeah, Mike, on that possession where Keyshawn gave you the lead, you know, they, they made you pass a lot, played pretty good defense. Just what did you think of your all's execution and, and you, a freshman to hit a shot like that? I thought it was good. I, I thought they trusted each other. That, that, that's to me is the, the growth right there. You know, there are a lot of teams where, uh, you know, a guy with the ball say, I need to make the play. Uh, but I thought Dan did a good job of getting it through that double team because they had him sandwiched in there. And as a matter of fact, the shot came to Keyshawn earlier. He turned it down, and then I think Dan got it to him, and he was wide open. And uh, that's just trusting your teammates. And that's the, the the thing I talked about, having patience with this team. You know, they're, they'll start figuring out the roles and understanding, you know, the personnel. You know, we put him in there for a specific reason because, you know, with, with the forwards, they were just packing in there on Dan. And so just think about it. it. It worked to our advantage because even with that being said, they still doubled him. And Dan was able to find a guy that was wide open with the clock running down. And then, of course, on defense, we, we get a – I think they get a charge or run into one of our guys, and, and Mason goes and knocks free throws down. And that was – I thought that was huge. Mike, what's your philosophy on fouling or not fouling with, three, three sec, uh, with a three-point lead, the clock winding down? You didn't do it tonight. I, I said it's game situation. I said that last time. So it's the same question you asked me. We played somebody else. And, and why I say it was the situation. They were getting offensive rebounds. They shot the free throws sometimes so bad that they would get offensive rebounds. So sometimes you can outcoach yourself. So I say, you know what, we're going to guard these guys. We had no timeout, so we were just going to guard them. And uh, he makes it, he makes it. Uh, but just think about the – and they were getting – I mean, they, I mean, there were some things coming off there and just – can you imagine getting off the free throw line, they get it, and they kick out a guy, and now he makes a four-point play. So it's just situation. It's just the game and situations. Mike, uh, Jalen had the – charge took the charge you had a bunch of charges taken what'd you think of that particular play and just the charges taken all I, I keep saying our defense is saving us right now I mean we're building a wall in that lane and uh, that was, those are huge and that was the best player I think they were one of the best guards anyway with with uh, Lee uh, that fouled out of the game so uh, again our defense it continues to get better and I talked about charging I don't know how many charges he's taking it's probably one or two I don't know no, that was uh, uh, Jalen. He's probably taking two. Jalen Harris, that is. That was his third. See, it's getting contagious. You think about Gabe. He took some. Isaiah took some tonight. 
Uh, so again, it, it's we're building a wall around that. You know, Vanderbilt is a team. They either gonna shoot a three or they gonna get layups. And I thought we did a good job of getting our bodies in there and squaring up. And and those are big plays because it put fouls on those guys again. Coach, how did you feel about your team's performance on the glass tonight? I think at times we could have been better. Uh, I think we had some offside rebounds that they got and and, uh, and tipped it in there. Uh, I keep saying we we you know, we got our guards got rebound. I thought you know Jalen had five, uh, Isaiah had four. Uh, uh, it was a lot better effort than we had at, at LSU from the standpoint of. Of, of trying to get in there. And we, we just got to continue to work on it and get better. We got to do it by committee. You know, a lot of time Dan is going blocking shots. So it's got to be up to those other guys of, of keeping people out of there. Uh, again, our defense uh, was – we had eight turnovers in the first half. Just think about that. That enabled them to get scored on the other end. Uh, so, uh, again, it's tail of two halves if you want to call it that. Turnovers in the first ten minutes or something. Then you only had three. Oh, it was the rest weird. Of the it way. was weird. It was just, yeah. it was, and, and I think about the last time we played them here, the same thing took place. And so, yeah, what, what was the key to not turn it over after that? <laughs> Stop thinking. Just play basketball. Stop thinking. Start playing instinctively and trusting each other and uh, getting the ball to the guys that had the hot hand. Uh, you know, <clears throat> in the first half we shot a lot of free throws. In the second half, we were in the one and one with 14 minutes to go. I still don't think we did a good job of really attacking and making them foul us and get to the free throw line. But when we did go to the free throw line, we were 15 out of 20. I thought we were pretty good. And you can t continue to see the sharing of the basketball, uh, 18 assists. Uh, that's sharing the basketball. And, and we didn't shoot it great, but we shot it pretty efficient. And we did a good job of – Dan did a good job in the second half of establishing himself inside. You know, when, when the tempo was going up and down the floor, uh, now it's easy for guys to get in spots and spot up and get him the basketball without people around him. And, and he was able to make some plays. Uh, I think Isaiah gave him a nice – couple of nice passes going to the uh, to the basket. Uh, again, this team uh, – Isaiah had five assists tonight. So that's the beauty of this basketball team. You know, he's scoring, but he's also assisting as well. You know, free throws have been an issue in, in a lot of games. But tonight, like you said, 15 out of 20, and Daniel hits 10 out of 12. I mean, that was a real shock in a good way. What would you think of that? It was good. He's done it before. He's done it before. He's been 9 out of 12 or something like that before. So I think he's taking that challenge personal because he's getting fouled a lot. And he knows it's going to help the team. So he's putting a – continue to put time in and just his rhythm. He, he got a much better rhythm now, much better rhythm. And you, you guys have had a lot of close <laughs> games. Now you've won these last two. Do you feel like all those close games helped you these last two? Or how did they help you? And you've won four straight conference games now. Over 500. How do you feel about what you're doing right well, you now? Well, you got to learn. You got to learn from. Them. I think you learn from your, you know, your failures. Most times, you know, in life, that's what you learn from. You learn from your failures. So uh, now we just, you know, learning how to win and learn how to make plays, stay in poise, uh, trusting one another. Uh, I think that's 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 part of the process in terms of learning. Now we got to go to the other phases. That is, when we get a team down, we got to learn how to keep them down. You know, we're up 10. And let's come back and let's keep building and building, doing the things that, that what got us there. And uh, uh, but let's credit again Vanderbilt and and, and uh, Toy. Seems like he has a great game every time he plays against us. Uh, uh, they they play well. I thought they they hung in there, and, and that's what you're supposed to do on the road. Uh, but we had some guys that that kind of answered the bell. I, I couldn't say enough about the the steal that Gabe, Gabe had. That was that was a huge, huge steal for our basketball team. All right. Have a good night.